Free speech is important because you can't have freedom without it. And so if you're not free to express yourself, you're not free to be yourself. My name is Robert Corn Revere. I'm a partner at the law firm of Davis Wright Tremaine in Washington, D.C., where I practice First Amendment law. Hayden Barnes got in trouble with Valdosta State University for speaking his mind. He protested for environmental reasons, the building of a parking garage on campus, and that didn't sit well with the university president, for whom it turned out this was a pet project. And so the school went out of its way to expel him for absolutely nonsensical and pretextual reasons. As soon as Hayden began to protest the building of this parking garage through putting flyers out on campus and then ultimately publishing a letter in the student newspaper, he had a target on his back. Uh, the president of the university looked for ways to get rid of him. He looked into his background. And it was only later in having people investigate Hayden's activities online that they discovered this collage that Hayden had put sort of inadvertently on, on Facebook. There is absolutely no question that uh, this type of whimsical, satirical collage lies at the heart of the First Amendment. It is exactly the kind of thing that the First Amendment protected. And this collage was really, for him, just sort of a whimsical afterthought. It wasn't really part of the debate, but it became central to the case because the university, or at least its president, decided to use that once they discovered it as this excuse to try and get rid of this troublesome student. Not only is Hayden Barnes not a clear and present danger, he's not a danger of any kind, even a weak and remote danger. The only thing that Hayden is is a clear and present example of overreaching by government officials that have no ability to discern when they are violating the Constitution. There's no rational reason for explaining this. No one who has looked at the collage thinks that it represents any kind of serious threat. It was never even sent to anyone at the university. They sought it out and then overinterpreted it in a way that nobody could seriously believe. The court primarily held that the university president was responsible uh, for um, uh, violating uh, Hayden's due process rights and uh, that he could not hide behind qualified immunity. It is all too easy for students faced with people in authority limiting their rights, telling them what they can or can't do, to simply give in to that authority. The more you look at the situation happening on campus, the more that you find uh, a great deal of disregard by public officials who should know better uh, than to restrict free speech on campus, creating free speech zones, creating speech codes. And there are very few organizations that are even aware of these problems, let alone dedicated to them. FIRE is fulfilling an essential role in trying to combat these misguided trends on campus and without education into what it means to be a republic, not a democracy, and what individual rights means, then we won't have adults who, when they enter these institutions, will be able to maintain them.